here in the, the Builders Merchants in Spain. And I'm doing a review of my Land Rover, Freelander. Year 2000. A brilliant, been a brilliant vehicle. Use it in the, in the mountains to collect rocks. I've had it for about 10 years. Haven't used it much uh, for a period of time. The brakes seized up on the front, but they had them released. It's all leather interior. Left hand drive, it's a German car. It's the ideal size. You see, I've got all my tools there. Like to motor sierra which is chainsaw the um the mixer for the cement and mortars and it's filled up every day hasn't got much in today with bags of cement can carry 15 bags of cement used to carry a lot of sand but i have that delivered now we're restoring a finca up in the hills about half an hour away and i come here this is called mawson sec this is a a white, fine, hard coat, which we use inside. First we use cement, there's all our tools there. And these are the mortars here in Spain. I think there's a lot more. These are all white ones, plasters. This is Escayola for using um, the ceiling, where they use a lot of that, and putting windows in. Fine filler sand and more cements down there. They have two types of cement. But um, I like this vehicle. I think it's just right. It, uh, it's not worth a lot, but it's still a good Land Rover. It really climbs well. Just put new tires on it. Doesn't use much fuel. It's got a two litre BMW engine. It's been a good workhorse. I'm just giving you a little tour inside the Land Rover. It's done 122,000 kilometers. Doesn't use a lot of fuel, but it's a really good climber. It's not fast. I've um, also got a Discovery, which is a lot bigger, heavier, uses more fuel. But this is like um, a, a Una Cabra, a mountain goat in the hills. It, it just climbs, goes over in, up anything more tools down there my cutting discs it cost about 10,000 something euros when I bought it but it was um, that's the back that was the value of them then that was probably a good price for it then now it's not worth as much but if you compare it to the modern day what's the equivalent from Land Rover today it's the, the Defender which I've seen in Harry's garage and that He's, he, I think he was looking at uh, what 50, 60,000 with all the extras he had, and he said it was. He said, really said it was a bit big, a bit wide, which is often the case with modern cars. If you're, this is this is quite a, a minimal four-wheel drive. It's not. I'm going to show you in the back now. See, that's what it's like in the back. Got a glass sunroof. Um, I haven't really had any problems with it, it's been reliable, but I use it for work. And this is the, um, you know, the deluxe version with, with full leather. I did put a bit of leather there. Let's change the brake pads. The brake discs were locked on recently and they got them freed off, but it's because I hadn't used it. Uh, I couldn't start it, as another car I couldn't start, but at the end of the day, I think it was the battery. I kept charging up the battery and thought it was fully charged. And it said 13.4 volts, but it wouldn't turn the engine over. So I just swapped the batteries over and um, it was fine. That's all it was. So it's been a good car, this. I've had it for over 10 years. Done a lot of work. Mainly um, now in the Finca, in the, up in the hills, collecting rocks. Thanks for watching. So today I've got a, 
one meter by 115 double door window used used them before and all the rest of the things good vehicle this you see with the land new land rover defender you can't it's a commercial vehicle you can't put down the the front uh, there's a cabin divider black plastic fixed so in, in some ways this is better and do this so we are now up at the finger and you see the space i've got in here to put like the window we just carried black uh, solar panels normally i don't have the seats down but it's good i've taken these things off here they actually were breaking off there to put the there's a cover that slides in there i never use it you have a black window people can't see in anyway and look at this this is see over there's the clouds of the, the city we've just been in and the coast but up here it's beautiful look so later i'll be going up there up that road and um, picking up more rocks in this land rover freelander the land rover freelander year 2000 I recommend this vehicle you can get a bit of noise with the diff it sort of clunks but that's called cool. there's some rubbers down there and um, it's got a name i've forgotten in spanish strange name but they're they're just blocks of rubber it's often that when you get that noise from your diff or that clonking when you change gear and knock so this is what we're doing here with the i've been using the land rover to get all these stones inside we're doing as well and restoring that over there we're doing all this all the buildings in stone which this land rover has has carried and it's back here a bit slow but it works this is another area you could even make the seats go even more further forward so they'll be right up pressed up at the driver's seat there but I don't often do that. Down there, there's the fuel tank, and I've done away with the the float pump that goes on the floatador, or the goes in the fuel tank anyway. There's a pump. There was a pump there, but I've done away with that. It's just linked direct to because there's all, there's another pump, and it works fine. Did have problems with that once. We put new pipe work in, but if this has got to shut like that, otherwise. It won't lift back up. This is another use for it. I'm filling up the entrance drive, which is about it's about 100 metres long, maybe 120. All the potholes it had, I filled it up with the uh, escombra or building rubble. So it's gradually getting flatter and more accessible. So instead of dumping all this rubble, or putting it somewhere and making it I don't want to put it anywhere I want to use it by putting it in these holes so you're going to put it in this sort of rut here and it'll make it flatter the rain will take some of it away when it rains but this has been a very useful tool the Land Rover Fre uh, Freelander again I think they, they got it right when they built this because the I think the dis I love the discovery. It's a big tank, but you're driving a great big tank around sometimes when you don't need it. And this you can sleep in the discovery. It's got a V6 diesel engine or uh, even worse, a petrol engine. This has got a four-cylinder BMW engine. Um, with the price of fuel now, you don't really want to be spending a lot on fuel so this is you know still putting in uh, 60 euros 70 euros a week but it's a it's a good tool for moving rubble around like the window we brought up here this morning all the cement going to collect rocks also I got in here oh, a lot of my tools in boxes hidden away behind the, the driver's seat there there's three 
uh, boxes, drills and things. Very well designed and it, it, it really corners well. When I first drove it, I remember I was really surprised it sort of digs in round corners. I don't know how they've done it, but there's something on, on the suspension that is good there. So, it's all you need here. I don't, I wouldn't mind um, a new Land Rover Defender, but it's going to get scratched up like this because I'm going to use it for work. You can't get as much in the back, and it's 60, 50, 60,000 pounds. One of these you can pick up for, I don't know, but um, a good one I think you'd be looking at five, five or 6,000 euros here. But I've seen um, I've seen them for two and a half, but it depends what the condition is and what the mileage is. I like personally the, the three door one, like this one. I don't like; uh, it doesn't look as uh, as nice as the the five door one. You no, know, it's just it's like a lot of cars. The three door looks better, and. I like all this. I still think this design is, it looks smart today. It's got a tow bar. You can tow a trailer, which is useful. I, I've had solar panels on this roof, doors, windows, mirrors. I could do with another bar going across it, but then that would probably get some wind noise from that. But these are very useful. It's probably an extra when it was bought. Some sort of pack. This is like the, the Lux pack, or sport pack. And you can take this whole roof off and make it into like a Jeep. It all comes off. I've never done it, but I've seen them on the beach in the summer. And uh, I, will, I will do that one day. You, you move that. I'm having trouble lifting this seat at the moment. It's got to clip in properly at the bottom there. Otherwise it won't lift up. It's the only, only criticism today. I've got a JBL speaker down the front there. You see, it sits in nicely. Five speed. You can cruise along at 70 miles an hour and uh, it's a gentle quiet ride here we are at the Finker so I'll get on with emptying this rubble finishing my video on the the Land Rover I can hear a distant tractor coming all almond growing area here just having a little bit of late breakfast with the the Land Rover here. A little bit of rust here, but I've treated it with rust killer and also the, the drum brakes at the back. They got sort of surface rust on them. They're like cast iron. So I've given them a coat, wire brushed them and given them a coat of the pink rust killer. For Ferronol, I think it's called here. But uh, it's like being on holiday here sometimes, like, like being in Gran Canaria, even though it's Spain, and I'm about an hour from the coast. But so often the weather is better here because it's higher up. It's about, top of these mountains are about seven, eight hundred meters above sea level. If you look down at the sea sometimes over there, the sea's down there. It's cloudier, like it was this morning and, and now. Something to do with air pressures that I don't know. Like skiing, when you ski, it's very often sunny, isn't it? Or it's snowing. I've seen thick clouds come in and you can't see these mountains, which doesn't happen lower down. 